Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shari Aqeed. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa chaired the cabinet meeting today at Sakhir Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King reviewed with the cabinet local, regional and international developments. On the local level, His Majesty the King focused on the issue of pension, where he directed to develop pension and insurance funds to ensure their sustainability, noting the importance of reaching a public consensus regarding pension due to its importance to all individuals. His Majesty the King expressed thanks to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for the prompt initiative to implement His Majesty's royal directives in cooperation with the Speaker of the Representatives Council and the Chairman of the Shura Council to form a joint government parliamentary committee to discuss the laws of pension. His Majesty stressed the importance of prioritizing the issue of pension and developing pension funds and services provided to pensioners, taking into account public interests and preserving the right of pensioners and participants. In this context, His Majesty directed to restructure the Board of Directors of the Social Insurance Organization by appointing new capabilities with high administrative and professional skills. He also commended the Military Pension Fund and the efforts exerted to ensure sustainability. His Majesty the King hailed the cooperation between the legislative and executive authorities supported by successful democratic practices which strengthen national gains through issuing developed legislations that benefit the economic, social and political sectors in the Kingdom at both the regional and international levels. His Majesty the King urged to continue the existing cooperation between the government and the parliament in order to further develop democracy in the kingdom, noting that national legislations must focus on providing comprehensive services to citizens and utilizing national resources. He praised the role of the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in enhancing the process of development for the benefit of the kingdom and its people, highlighting the procedures taken by the government to continue the comprehensive and sustainable development and to achieve economic stability despite the regional and international challenges. His Majesty the King highlighted the events held in the Kingdom which contributed to developing the economic and touristic sectors. His Majesty also welcomed Bahrain's hosting of the 42nd session of UNESCO's World Heritage Committee held under the patronage of His Majesty the King who delegated His Royal Highness to Crown Prince to inaugurate it. His Majesty added that hosting this session reflects the Kingdom's distinguished role in the cultural, civil and heritage fields internationally. For his part, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his constant support to government work system, asserting the government's commitment to implementing royal directives to serve citizens. His Royal Highness added that His Majesty's directives will be soon implemented in the framework of a specific action plan to achieve the aspirations of Bahraini people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also hailed the Royal Directive to rediscuss pension draft laws, affirming that the government, in consensus with the Legislative Authority through the Joint Governmental Parliamentary Committee, will reach the best solutions to preserve the rights of pensioners and participants and ensure the sustainability of pension funds. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable to President Recep Tayyip Erdogan of Turkey, marking the winning of the presidential elections. His Majesty the King congratulated the Turkish President, wishing him continued health and happiness to achieve the Turkish people's aspirations of further progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King also underlined the solid bilateral relations binding the two countries and their people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable to President Recep Tayyip Erdogan of Turkey, marking the winning of the presidential elections. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister congratulated the Turkish President, wishing him continued health and happiness, and the Turkish people further advancement and well-being. He praised the bilateral relations between the two countries and their people. And His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable to Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, marking the winning of the presidential elections. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince congratulated the Turkish President, wishing him continued health and happiness to achieve the Turkish people's aspirations of further progress and prosperity. 
On behalf of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended the inauguration of the 42nd meeting of the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, the UNESCO's World Heritage Committee. Taking place between the 24th of June and the 4th of July, the meeting of the UNESCO World Heritage Committee is being held under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, organized by the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities and the International Center for the Study of the Conservation and Restoration of Cultural Property. I think it's a tremendous event and Bahrain uh, deserves it very well. Bahrain actually earned it. Uh, it wasn't given to Bahrain. Bahrain worked very, very hard. Sheikh Hamail Khalifa is someone I have admired and I've always admired. And she has done a tremendous job. She has a great support from His Majesty the King and His Highness the Crown Prince and His Highness, of course, the Prime Minister. And Bahrain is, uh, is really becoming a cultural hub of world class. The opportunity to host the 42nd edition of this event reflects an important milestone in the kingdom's efforts to promote its long-standing historical and cultural identity, underpinned by His Majesty the King's continuous support. We obviously had a high-level delegation from a number of member states uh, to the World Heritage Committee, and as well a high-level representation from UNESCO, uh, headed by uh, Her Excellency the Director General of UNESCO. Her visit to Bahrain during her first term in office uh, is, is quite uh, significant uh, uh, in terms of highlighting the partnership Bahrain has with UNESCO over the many past years. It is something that we try to strengthen and improve continuously, particularly in the fields of culture. The hosting of this committee is a testament to the commitment of Bahrain to the efforts of UNESCO and its meetings throughout the year to enhance and support uh, intergovernmental organizations in achieving uh, the objectives of the United Nations, particularly as they relate to sustainable development uh, and cultural sustainability. During the World Heritage Committee session, the committee reviews the state of conservation of World Heritage sites, inscribes new sites on the World Heritage list and attends to other matters involved in the implementation of the World Heritage Convention. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogun Mohammed. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee and Bahrain Royal Endurance Team Leader, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the team continues to make outstanding achievements in European races. He noted the rider's keenness in achieving high results to promote the kingdom under the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, saying that it reflects the level of equestrian sports in Bahrain. The members won the first five places in Houston Park Endurance 80-kilometer race with wide global participation under the supervision of Her Highness Sheikh Anur bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser added that the team has prepared to participate in future races, noting that the royal team has benefited from its participation, which reflected the development of Bahraini sports. The top five winners were riders Khalifa Mbarak, Khalifa Jamal, Khalid Yusuf, Yaqub Al Hamadi, and Raed Mahmoud, respectively. Rider Abdul Rahman Nizaid won fifth place for the 160-kilometer race, and his horse was ranked one of the best participating horses, alongside His Highness Sheikh Nasser and Rider Raed Mahmoud, which guaranteed a place for him in the World Championship, which will be held in the United States of America. The BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received a delegation from the Royal Command and Staff College, the RCSC, headed by Major General Ali bin Abdullah Al Ghahtani, the Commander Officer of RCSC, in the presence of Defense Ministry Under Secretary Major General Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and senior officers. The Commander-in-Chief praised the deep relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, stressing the importance of cooperation between the two countries, especially in the military field. Within the framework of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the follow-up on the efforts of the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa in implementing its work program, 
and upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to distribute 5,000 housing units. The Minister of Housing, Boston bin Yaqub Al Hamar, stated that the ministry began distributing today the second batch of 609 residential units in Sitra to beneficiaries. He added that the distribution process will continue until the middle of the week and affirmed that the project will provide more than 740 housing units. The minister added that this distribution process is the sixth project listed within the plan to distribute 5,000 housing units ordered by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. He affirmed that the ministry is keen on implementing the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in record time. The World Heritage Committee, the WHC, held its first press conference at UNESCO Village in Bahrain in the presence of the UNESCO Director General Audrey Azoulay and the President of the WHC for the year 2018 and President of the 42nd Committee meeting, Sheikh Ahaya bin Rashid Al Khalifa, as well as the President of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Hamaid bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. Sheikh Hamaid stated that the WHC meeting affirms the importance of cultural work and its ability to unite the world to support identity and humanitarian gains, adding that the meeting is held by the efforts of Bahraini youth. Audrey Azoulay expressed thanks to Bahrain for its efforts in holding the WHC meeting, noting that in Bahrain over 2,000 experts from the cultural and natural heritage field gather from 139 countries to exchange expertise and discuss heritage topics, which proves the international community's adherence to the principles of heritage protection. It is very important that uh, this kind of uh, um, meeting held in, uh, in, in our area to show uh, the world that we respect the, uh, the rules which was or which is adopted by the member states in, in the United Nations or in the UNESCO. We have to prove to the, to the world that we, we respect the Convention of 1972. We have we, we, we will follow the rules which are provided for in the convention. And uh, 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 you know, uh, from many uh, now journalists today, they ask that, uh, uh, what about the request for inscription of the sites? Yeah, there is many requests. We have to follow the rules which is adopted by the convention, approved by the, all the member states.